Hey guys, I'm Roar Alexander, the director of Aspada, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in today. Today we're going to start talking about uh, power development, and this is going to be the beginning of a three-part series on three of the most effective ways and simple ways to develop power. There's a lot of different ways you can develop power, especially through, say, Olympic lifting, but Olympic lifting is very high skill and requires a lot of um, demand and knowledge from the trainer and for the clients, your typical client's not really going to do that. So what we want to do is we want to keep the power development really easy. So the first thing we're going to be talking about today is the ballistic method, okay? So that's going to be our first method. And ballistic actually comes from the Greek word baline, which literally means to throw. So what, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be throwing stuff, okay? Simple. So. The key concepts to the ballistic method is constant acceleration with absolutely zero slowing phase and with a significantly heavy load. So when we're ballistic training and we want to throw something, okay, we don't want to slow down. I'm not going to push and then slow. I'm going to push all the way through. And that's why we're throwing it because we're actually going to release the weight. So we don't have to worry about catching it. We don't have to worry about our muscles learning to slow down, okay? so. What this does is this kind of training targets the fast twitch muscle fibers and engages maximal amounts of nerve bundles and firing of motor units. So in other words, fast twitch muscle fiber, those ones that are responsible for explosion, and the more motor units, the more neurons that we can get firing, the, uh, sorry, the more nerves we can get firing, the more explosivity we're going to have, okay? So that's what we're going to be working on today with our first ballistic method. And we're going to use today the exercise that we're going to be using is a sandbag toss. You can also do this with a medicine ball. Uh, a kettlebell is extremely good to use. The problem obviously with the kettlebell, you just can't launch a kettlebell across the room. You could if you were throwing it in the grass. So if you could do this in the grass or if you could do it in sand, it's great. Or if you have say an old mattress, something you could throw the kettlebell into or maybe some styrofoam astroturf, you'd be fine. But most of you are going to be in a typical gym setting, much like this one here, with either wooden floors or some rubber floors, and we don't want to break the kettlebell, we don't want to break the floor. So we're just going to be using sandbag for today's demonstration. So join me and let's take a look at some ballistic method. Okay guys, so what I'm going to show you is just one simple exercise we can do for the ballistic method. So like I said, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we are accelerating at full speed and that we're not slowing down. And we're literally just going to release the weight and let it go flying, okay? So that is going to make us avoid any sort of slowing phase. So, when you're in a gym like this, the best thing you want to do is you want to use um, a sandbag, something soft that's not going to hurt the floors. So, we're going to make sure we use proper technique. Proper technique is extremely important in all cases, okay? Don't go sloppy. So, we're going to swing it just like as if we were swinging a kettlebell, okay? But instead of coming back up to here and then coming back down with the kettlebell, we are just going to release the sandbag and let it fly. Full engaging of the hips, full engagement of the hamstrings, okay? So let's get ready. We're gonna go for about three reps. You wanna keep the rep structure really low, four to five reps. Um, you know, take your time between each rep too, it's not a race. You'll just walk over, casually pick up the sandbags, bring it back, take a couple breaths, and then do your next rep. So here we go. So that's one rep. I'm gonna come back again, like I said, taking my time. I'm not gonna rush it because we're not working on endurance here. We're not working on strength. We are merely working on complete power. And we'll just do one more rep just for fun. I'm gonna come back, like I said, four to five reps, six tops. All right, guys. So that was it, nice and simple, the ballistic method. Make sure you join me again as I have two more parts coming up. You can discover two more secrets to developing power the easy way. I'm Roy Alexander and you're watching Spotted TV.